Hi, I'm Dawn Masler, and this is The Science of Love. It's the science of love. Today, I'm going to talk about what causes a man to turn from Romeo to Houdini after you have sex with him. And what can a woman do to avoid being loved and left? I ran into a woman the other day who had recently divorced and was just starting to date again. Unfortunately, she was upset in giving up on dating. I asked why, what's going on? She told me that the last guy she dated had disappeared right after they had sex. She said for weeks he showered me with attention, but the moment I slept with him, it was as if I had never existed. Unfortunately, this is not the first time I've heard this. So today, I'm going to look at why a man disappears right after you have sex with him. The problem stems from a little neurotransmitter called dopamine. This is the neurotransmitter of pleasure and reward. For a man or a woman to fall in love, dopamine must rise until it reaches a tipping point. On the other side of that tipping point is the euphoric cascading sensation of being head over heels in love. Unfortunately, sometimes dopamine never reaches this point in men because of a little phenomenon called the Coolidge effect. The legend states that President Calvage Coolidge was out touring a chicken farm with Mrs. Coolidge. Mrs. Coolidge was up ahead when she noticed a rooster being quite amorous with a hen. Mrs. Coolidge turned to her assistant and with delight said, Oh, I like that all the time. The attendant said, Yes, ma'am, all day, every day. Excited, Mrs. Coolidge said, Oh, you need to point that out to President Coolidge. The attendant trotted back and said, President Coolidge, your wife wanted me to point out this rooster to you. President Coolidge looked over and he saw the rooster being quite amorous with the hen and said, I see, son. Is he like that all the time? And the attendant said, yes, sir, all day, every day, sir. The president said, I see. Let me ask you one more question, son. Is it the same old hen every day? The attendant said, no, sir, it's a new hen every day. The president said, now run back and tell Mrs. Coolidge that. What that antidote is describing is a phenomenon we see in the lab. We can take a cage full of female rats and place it in a male rat, and he will mate with every one of those females to the point of exhaustion. He'll then flop over into the corner of this cage, and they can lick and entice him, but he won't do anything as his dopamine tanks. However, if I place in a fresh new female, his oh. dopamine will skyrocket and he will jump up and at him and mate with her. The Coolidge effect can occur in men with a rapid up and down of the dopamine, creating short-lived pleasure. When this happens, the dopamine never reaches high enough for him to fall in love. Does this mean your hot date is destined to give you a cold shoulder? No. There are a few things a woman can do to avoid the Coolidge effect. First, keep the excitement going. Dopamine increases with a challenge. Therefore, allow him to try to impress and win you over. Second, take your time. Dopamine takes time to build up. And thirdly, most importantly, require exclusivity prior to having sex. You can do this by simply stating that you want to be in a mutually exclusive relationship before you become sexual. Allow him to grapple with this decision. I'll explain why that's important in another segment. If he's willing to risk falling in love, he will ask you for a mutually exclusive relationship. Don't ask him. Allow him to ask you. This takes the neural activity from the pleasure center of the brain and moves it into the thinking part of the brain. There are no guarantees that he'll fall in love or even stay, but if he leaves, he probably would have left even if you had sex with him. By desiring exclusivity, you can avoid being just another Coolidge chick. So if he asks for a mutually exclusive relationship, does that guarantee he'll fall in love? Not necessarily. 
I'll explain how a man falls in love in another segment. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. I hope you enjoyed this segment of the Science of Love. If you did, please leave a comment and subscribe. It's the blindness of love. The biology of love. It's driving me insane. It's driving, it's driving me insane.